Good morning, everybody. How are we doing? Welcome to uh, your Tuesday morning circuit session. Um, like I said, you, you should have seen all these exercises on the group page. Uh, there's 14 exercises in total um, over two rounds. Don't worry if you haven't got any equipment, okay? Um, again, I've got the luxury of having weights and a step and a mat as well. So the mat is gonna be for the core work. The step is only gonna be for the couple of exercises and the rest of it is gonna be either body weight or weights. So if you've been adventurous and you've picked up some weights, I know some bottles, some, some tins of baked beans or anything, anything you can find, we've all got cans lying around in our cupboard somewhere. So any sort of resistance you can use, that'll be fantastic. Okay. What I want you guys to do is your work effort between one and 10 for this workout needs to be between six and nine, I'll say, don't go to 10, but you wanna be in that six to nine rep, rep, rep range, uh, exercise range, okay? So when we do this workout, don't just go through the motions, I want you to really push it in every exercise we do. Try and work to the full 45 seconds. Obviously it's backwards, I know, because it's a mirror image, but that does say 45 seconds, okay? So when that gets down to zero, You'll hear, you'll hear beeps from three down to one. Try and work to the last um, beep if you can. Then we get a 20 second rest and then we go into the next exercise. We do that for the full 14 exercises. Then we have a minute rest at the end of the round one. And then we do it again in round two. 35 seconds work and only 10 seconds rest. So you've got to be quick in the transitions between the two um, exercise, or between each exercise, okay? So, hope you're all feeling well. I hope you're feeling good and refreshed from yesterday. If you didn't do yesterday's workout, it doesn't matter, um, because you can um, obviously do today. Today's, I've made it um, for the whole body, pretty much. So we're gonna do a bit of core, a bit of upper body, a bit of lower body. Um, bear with me, guys, because I'm gonna try and go through, well, not every exercise, because we will be here for a long time, but I'm gonna go through every exercise, the ones you need to practice, um, and then we'll go straight into it. I'm probably gonna talk all the way through the workout. Sorry, I know I do talk a lot. Um, because I want to teach you guys some teaching points and make sure you don't hurt yourself when we do these exercises, all right? So, without further ado, let's get our watches set and let's burn some calories. So, wrist rolls first, let's do this. Okay, so the arms out in front, let's lean forward. Awesome stuff, let's have the miles behind. So squeeze those shoulder blades together, chest up. So like I say, this workout lasts about 28 minutes, but obviously with a warm up and a cool down, you look at about 35 to 40. Okay, arm circles, let's do it. Let's warm up the shoulders. Good, let's bring it back in the other way. Fantastic stuff. Okay, feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna squat down, head and arms over one shoulder, and then we rotate up to the ceiling. We do five on one side. That's three, squat and rotate. Four, that's one, five, and switch. Squat and rotate. Got my glutes hurt from yesterday. Got to fill it in my bum. Three, four, that's one, and five. Okay, guys, keeping those feet shoulder width apart, we're just gonna start squatting. So again, nothing too taxing. I just wanna make sure you keep your heels on the floor so your heels do not come up. Don't raise those heels. Okay, head and chest up. Go down nice and deep. Now what we're gonna do now, we're gonna leave the floor and do some jumping squats. Now if you can't leave the floor, we just go to tiptoes. Okay, so we do what you can do. It's your workout, remember. Three, two, one. So if you leave the floor, that's your jumping squats. If you can't leave the floor, tiptoes, deep squat, tiptoes. Keep this going. 10 more seconds, then we're gonna go straight into your lunges. Keep it going, come on, heart rate's up now. Five seconds left, four, three, Two, one, lunges. Okay, lunges, nice deep lunges. Head and chest up. Try and go as low as you can, so really concentrate on getting that back knee as close as you can to the floor. Keep that core tight. Keep you in an upright position. Okay, now we're gonna introduce some arms above our heads. So every time you lean forward now and do a lunge, I want you to bring your arms above your head. It's kind of like we're doing a virtual Mexican wave right now. Okay, three more from now, one, Two, last one, and three. Good stuff, guys. From there, we're gonna go into our side lunge. Pull your weight onto one side. Hold it out. Good, switch sides. Okay, from here, keep our legs nice and wide. 
Knees slightly bent and we rotate through the shoulders. Let's go. Come on, really try and touch those toes. Get down nice and low. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. From there, guys, what you do, walk out, press up. So we're gonna walk it out, chest to the floor, back up. Now, if you can't do a full press up, you stand up, you walk it out, then you go to your knees, chest down. We're gonna do five, that's two. Back out, walk it out, walk it out. That's three. Back up, back down. Two more, that's four. That's one, here we go, come on. All the way down, that's five. Awesome stuff, okay, from there, we're gonna do some heel flicks. So we're gonna jump on the spot, heel flicks, and then we're gonna do high knees, are you ready? Let's go, heel flicks first. 15 seconds on heel flicks. And then 15 high knees, you ready? Five seconds there, four, three, two, one, high knees, 15 seconds, come on. Just get ourselves warm. Let's go, let's go. All right, five more seconds, four, three, two, one. Excellent stuff. Stand in one position, guys. Tiptoes, heels. We're gonna concentrate on those calves. So rock forward and back. Let's get rocking. From there, we're gonna walk forward and back. On your tiptoes, go back on your heels. Forward on your tiptoes, back on your heels. Keep this going, three more. One. Back on your heels, two, last one, and three. Awesome, from there, hip rotation. So I want your knee up, out to the side. Three outwards, two, and three. Bring it back in, one, two, last one, three. And the same other side, knee up and out. One, two, three, bring it in, one, two, three. And three. Okay, we're going to finish off with your hamstrings. So if you've got the luxury of a step, tuck your feet under it and touch the top of the step. If not, touch your toes. Try and go down, touch your toes, keep your legs straight. Okay, crouch down. And we repeat. Do the same again. Stand tall. Okay, stand up guys, nice and slowly. Good job, okay, right, from here. Straight to the exercises, so frog jumps on the step. So if you've got a step, one foot either side, touch the top of the step, and watch the light, you jump on it. Okay, if you can't jump it, walk it on, walk it off, touch the step, head and chest stay up throughout because you're doing a squat, I don't want you to hurt your lower back. You guys off a step, exactly the same, okay? You're gonna touch the floor, head and chest up, Feet together, back out, touch the floor, feet together, back out. Now if you're doing it quickly, you're up, down, up, down, up, head and chest up. If you find it difficult and you just want to work yourself, you know, gingerly into the workout, it's not a hit workout, so you can warm up however you like, but that is your frog jumps on the step. Moving swiftly on, reverse plank, so we lay down on the floor, you got your legs, your bum, your bum and your hips come off the mat. Slight bend in your knees, you rock backwards for one, and you slow it down for five. So two, three, four, five, and back up again, and then you slow it down, so you really feel those core muscles. I want you guys to really think about what muscles you're working in every exercise. So the slower you go down, the more core activation you will get, okay? If you find it difficult, don't lift your, don't lift, lift your legs as high, just do what you can do. Again, because some people are more flexible than others. From there, this is where the weights come in. If you've got any weights, I'm demonstrating with a two kilograms at the moment. So an upright row, this is where you work the top of your shoulders and your neck, upright row. As you stay tall, core tight, look up position of my elbows. My elbows are high, they are above my wrist. Okay, look at the line. I don't want people doing that, okay? Point the elbows up, try and get the elbows towards the ceiling. Again, if you haven't got any weight, you can do this with a can of beans or just your arms. Again, elbows have got to be high. Get those weights up, and you really start to feel this in the top of your shoulders, and obviously the lower part of your neck as well. So that's your upright row. From there, you're into a squat to press with your weights once more. Your starting position is that. Obviously, don't bring your elbows too low. Your elbows should be in line with your chest or with your nipple line. Okay, feet shoulder width apart. You squat down. Then you stand up. 
then you press. It's three parts. So squat, stand, press. Back down, squat, stand, press. Without weights, you can do exactly the same. You squat, you stand up, you press. To make it a little bit more um, energetic for you guys without any weights, squat, jump. So you do your squat jumps and you press at the top and you do exactly the same thing. So squat to press can either be done with weights or without, but try and add a jump or go to tiptoes, high up, back down, high up. So it's completely do what you can do with or without the weights, all right? Sit-ups, I'm not going to show you a sit-up, we don't have to do sit-ups. Leg raises, again, I'll show you them as and when, but we're going to gradually lift our legs up and then slow them down. You're going to follow my command on that one. Bicep curls, again, with your weights, bicep curl, keep your elbows locked into your side. Imagine I've got weights in my hands. Then you've got dips on chair. We've all got a chair, or we're all doing this in our lounge, sofa. So your palms and your fingertips are away from you. Your hand position is behind, because what you're gonna do, you're gonna push down on the chair, you're gonna activate your triceps here. So what I want you guys to do, slight bend, and then push down. So when you push down, lock out your elbow, and you'll get that tricep activation. I'll show you a couple. So, probably can't really see me from there, but harder version, legs out straight. Obviously my arms are bent, and then I'm locking them out at the top. If you find that difficult, bend your knees, lock out at the top. If you've got a step, you can even do it on the stepler. So I might even do it on the step actually. So my elbows are locked out, down to the floor, up, down to the floor, and squeeze at the top. It's really important that you squeeze your triceps at the top of that movement. Back into the weights again, once more. Don't worry guys, we'll go for it all again if you're worrying what's, what's going on. Lateral and frontal raise. So lateral, hold it, couple of seconds. Back down, switch to the front, frontal raise. Back down, lateral raise back down, and then frontals, all right? Sideways on, it's really important that you don't swing. I don't want anybody doing hip thrusts or anything. If the weight's too heavy, lower it or drop it. If you haven't got any weights, on your arms out, okay? Swing your arms out for 10 seconds. So you do the circular motion like that for 10 seconds, drop them, bring them to the front, circles at the front, 10 seconds back down, okay? I'll let you guys count for the 10 seconds each side. So with or without weights, you can do that exercise. Oblique mountain climbers, again, you're on the floor, knee goes to opposite elbow. We did oblique mountain climbers yesterday in hit step, so again, I'll show you them as and when. Bent over row, this is another important exercise. Bent over row is exercise number 11. You're working your rear delts, so muscles in your back. Really important that you don't bend your lower back. I don't want people doing this, okay? This is the technique. You push your hips and your pelvis back, okay? You engage your lower back. You bend over, but your neck is in line with your spine and your chest is out. If you notice my spine is straight, this is the position you want to be in to start with. Not that, do not roll your back. So, chest up, look forward, and what you're going to do, your weights are going to go into your chest and your arms are going to go back. So, fully extend at the, at the bottom, squeeze and pinch at the top. So, you're trying to get your shoulder blades together. Allow me to show you. So, down, squeeze. Notice I'm looking forward, my head and chest is up. Again, I'll explain that when we do the exercise. Split press up. For you guys, you can't do full press ups. On your knees, split press ups, and one hand goes in front, one hand goes behind. You press up, then you switch. So switch forward and back. Again, on your knees or a full press up. Guys, make sure that chest is the first thing that hits the floor, not your head, not your hips. It's really important that you get used to getting that chest down to the floor first when you do those split press ups. Exercise number 13, single leg, leg bridge, bridge kicks. This works your glutes. You're gonna do 45 seconds on one side and then 45 seconds on the other. So technically, we've got 15 exercises. Right, so, pay attention guys. You might need to practice this before we do it. Okay, your shoulder, you're laying down. Shoulder blades are on the mat or the floor. They will stay there through the whole of this exercise. The leg I'm gonna be working is this one. So it stays on the floor. The other leg comes up, slight bend in your knee. Now what you do at this point, hands down the side, and you come up, and you squeeze your butt, and your leg, other leg is up, back down, squeeze your butt. So you should be in a straight line, squeezing the glutes in your bum, back down, back up, back down. So you leave one leg off the floor, the other leg, uh, oh, sorry, one leg off the floor, one leg in the air, and you squeeze your glutes. 
And we do 45 seconds one side and then 45 seconds the other. Final exercise is gonna be sprint punches. Whether you wanna add some weight to that or you just wanna flat out sprint punch, it's entirely up to you. I would probably do it without because you wanna go as fast as you possibly can. So you're gonna be sprinting and punching absolutely flat out for those 45 seconds. Lots to get through guys, so let's crack on. We'll do first exercise, which is gonna be those frog jumps. Right, let me turn this up. Follow it the best you can. Do not stop, improvise the best way you can. Listen for that timer. When it hits three, you go beep, 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 and then we'll stop. Right, frog jumps on step is your first exercise. So right back to the start, you guys that haven't got a step, in and out, everybody else sideways on. Are you ready? Three, two, one, let's go. 45 seconds, let's do it. Let's start, let's go. Always keep an eye on that clock. If you can't hear it, keep an eye on it. We'll start to beep when we hit three seconds. Let's go. Let's do this, come on. Half an hour, we're done. Come on, let's do it. Again, you can do this without a step. Let's keep head up, chest up, let's go. Keep looking forward, bend down. Feel it in your legs now. Heart rate's getting up. Here we go. Awesome, well done. Okay, 20 seconds rest. This is where you get on your mat now. We're into that reverse plank. So I lay down, listen for the beeps, and then we'll start. So remember, legs, sorry, bum, hips come off the mat. Slow down, ready? Slow down, let's go. I'll give you the count, ready? So, one up, five down, one, two, three, four, five, back up, let's go. Two, three, four, five. Keep that head on the mat at all times. Slow down, guys, really important, slow it down. Slight bend in the knees. Let's go, push it up. Keep that head on the mat. Engage that core. Squeeze the abs. Breathe, come on. Slow, control, guys. Feel that in the core, come on. Last one. Oh, great effort, well done. Right, into those upright rows. This is your first chance of using those weights. So, I'm picking up the four kilograms. Remember, elbows high. If you haven't got any weights, you can do exactly the same. Are we ready? So, core tight, chest up. Here we go. Squeeze at the top, slow and control. It's not a race. Good, so hold it a couple of seconds at the top. One, two, back down. One, two, get those elbows high, guys. Higher than your wrists. Keep your hands quite close together. Head and chest up, really working the top of those shoulders. Let's go, core tight. If you're using tins of beans, you'll still feel this squeeze at the top. Really feel that at the top of your shoulders and your neck, come on. Stay strong. Let's go. Keep this going. Come on, elbows high, get them high. Last one. Oh, okay, really good, right, stretch that out. We're into exercise number four. So this is your squat, and then you press. If you haven't got any weights, again, I want you to squat, jump, squat, jump, or squat, and tiptoes. But you must push at the top of the movement. Feet shoulder width apart, are you ready? Don't let your elbows drop past your nipple line, let's go. Squat, press, three parts. Squat, stand, press, here we go. Squat, stand, press. Tough exercise. Make sure you're looking forward at all times. Come on. Let's go. Tough on the top of the shoulders this one after the last exercise. It's a struggle. You can always put the weights down. Let's go. Come on, let's go down. Up, press, good. Down, up, press. Come on, stick with it guys, deep squat. Stand, press. Come on, let's go, squat, stand, press. Squat, stand, oh. Wow, we right guys, we're back into another core exercise. If you've got a weight, grab it now for your sit-ups. 
Plant your feet under a sofa, under a chair. You've got to keep your heels on the floor. Okay, now you haven't got a weight, just cross your arms across your chest. If you have, keep the weight on your chest as we do a sit up. Okay, shoulders up. Always look forward when you do a sit up. Breathe out at the top. Remember, if you haven't got a weight, cross your arms across your chest. Come up. Good, and again. Bring those shoulders off the mat. Head looking forward. Don't drop your chin into your neck. Keep looking forward, let's go. Let's go, keep it going. Come on, push that core at the top. Let's go. Try and put your feet under something. Leave your heels on the floor. Dig those heels into the floor, come on. Oh, well done. Okay, staying with the core, guys. We're doing leg raises now. So, put your hands under your bum. Put your legs out straight, just off the floor. When I say go, we're gonna lift them up, and then we're gonna go higher, and then we're gonna do it in stages, okay? Right, here we go. So, just off the floor, hold it for 10. Keep it going, guys, keep it going. Okay, up to 45. Keep those feet out, legs straight. Right, up to 90 for a rest. Okay, back down to 45. Squeeze that core, guys. If it gets tough, put your feet down. Just off the floor. Lower it again. Back up to 45. Hold it out. Up to 90. Ugh. Oh, my days. That was tough. Okay, pick up your weights. We're back into those bicep curls. Do what you can do with these. So remember, elbows stay in. You can either do one at a time, squeeze at the top, or you do both at the same time. It's completely up to you with what you've got. Sideways on, guys, it looks like this. Elbows, if you notice, have not moved. Elbows stay close to your side. It's a hinge joint, okay? Hinges are like a door. They only go forward and back or up and down. Well, open and close like a door, isn't it? So, hinge joint, don't move. Elbows, stick to your side. Squeeze that dumbbell at the top. Squeeze. Squeeze. If you've got lighter weights, do both at the same time. Come on, squeeze at the top. And again, come on, squeeze. Really feel that at the top of the movement, slow it on the way down. Eccentric. Where you break down the muscle fibers is on the lower part of the movement. Oh, awesome, okay. Now's the time for your dips on a chair or a sofa. Whether your legs are straight or you bend them, up to you, but you dip all the way down, try and get your bum close to the floor, fully extend your elbows at the top. Are we ready? Woo! So, legs straight up to begin with, make it harder. Bum all the way down, squeeze at the top, come on. So lock out your elbows, you're doing the triceps underneath your biceps. Oh. Come on, let's go, all the way down. Find it difficult, bend those knees. All the way down, get that bum down. Squeeze at the top, come on. Let's go. Again, it's not a hit workout, this one. Strength and conditioning. Take your time every single rep. It's not a race. Oh. Come on, let's go, let's go. And again. Oh. Down and up, keep going. Come on, 45. Last one. Oh, my days. Feel that in the triceps. Oh. Okay, from there, pick up your weights. One more. Went to lateral raise, frontal raise. You guys that haven't got any weights, do your circles, keep it on the time, and then do 10 second circles in the front. All right. Guys that have weights, let's do it. So arms out, back down, back up, back down. Good, if you haven't got weights, remember, do those circles for 10 seconds, keep an eye on the time, and then go to your fronts. So guys, you got the weights, make sure it's not too heavy so you're swinging, engage that core, keep it tight. Good stuff, come on. Excellent, keep it going, come on. 
sideways, hold it out. Up to the front. Keep swinging those arms if you're not got weight. Let's go, keep it going. Right till I get no more. Come on, keep it going. Really work those shoulders. Last one. Good work, guys. Excellent stuff. Okay, from there, we're into oblique mountain climbers. So, if you're in mountain climber position, I'll show you on the mat. Knee goes to opposite elbow. So, go nice and slow to begin with. When you feel a bit more confident, you can speed up. The knee goes to the opposite elbow. I'll be ready. Let's go. Knee to opposite elbow. Keep that weight forward. Again, if you get confident, speed it up. Come on guys, push through. Drive the knee across your body, opposite side. Oh, stop there. Try not to stop. Get that knee across that body, come on. Come on, let's go, let's go. Push through, let's go. Gosh, long time. Woo. Wow, 45 seconds then. Oh. Okay, back to your weights once more, bent over row. Pick up your weights, I'm on the four kilograms. So, pelvis back, hips back. Your neck's in line with your spine, chest is forward, squeeze at the top, back down. Work in the back. Okay, you ready? You can't go weights. You can do this without. Just pinch those shoulder blades together. Do this with your tins of beans. Keep looking forward. Remember that spine, it's got to be in line with your neck. Squeeze, okay, I'll come closer, look. So at the bottom of the movement, get it up to your side, tidy your chest, bend over, slight bend in your knees, stick your bum back. Pinch those shoulder blades, pinch. So pinch your shoulders together. Squeeze. I'll show you from behind, look. Squeeze and pinch. Go down, back up, squeeze. Really work those rear delts in your shoulders. Squeeze. Last one. Squeeze. Yes, guys, well done. Right, now we're time to do the chest. Woo, sweating now. Okay, we're doing a split press up. So one hand in front, one hand behind. Press, switch sides, press. So one hand in front, one hand behind. Press up, and we switch sides. If you can't do a full one, guys, drop to your knees. Remember, if you can't do a full press up, that's how it should look. One hand in front, one hand behind, press, and then repeat. You guys are more advanced, full press up, one hand in front, one behind, and we alternate. Again, it's not a race. I want you to concentrate, getting that chest all the way down to the floor. Find it difficult, there's no harm in dropping it to your knees, guys. Like I'm doing right now, look, all the way down, just to get the technique right. Concentrate on your breathing. One hand in front, alternate it, back to full press-ups once again. Let's go. Oh, well done guys. Okay, we're now into that single leg leg bridge kick. So lay on the mat, then we're focusing on the glutes. So one foot on the floor, one's gonna go slightly in the air, and we're gonna squeeze the glutes at the top. Are you ready? Let's go. So push up, push your hips up. Drive your hips towards the ceiling. Hold it a couple of seconds, squeeze your bum. Back down, back up. One foot off the floor. Drive those hips, keep the core tight. Hold it a couple of seconds, squeeze. Okay, and again, squeeze. So really feel the glutes at the top, really squeeze your butt together at the top. Oh, one foot. The leg which is on the floor is the one that's working the hardest. Come on, let's go, down, back up, squeeze. And again, and again, come on, we got this. Oh, come on, keep it going. Oh. Right, we've got to switch sides, stay there. Other leg goes on the floor now. Got to even it up. Oh, this is a tough one, this is. This is 45 seconds, wow. Woo! Right. Are we ready? Nice little rest down here, yeah. Here we go. So the leg on the floor, other one in the air, squeeze. 
So have that foot go out. Squeeze. Oh. Make sure you're in a straight line. Squeeze that glute. Bridge. Oh. Bridge up. Oh, come on. Really squeeze that butt together. At the top, get the hips up. Come on, drive your hips up. Hip thrust, come on. Oh. Squeeze your butt. Oh. Come on, keep it going, guys. You're doing great. Oh, come on. Let's go. Hand again. Squeeze. Ah. Oh. Oh. Come on, in there. That's one. Oh, my God. Feel that in my butt. Woo. Okay, guys, a final exercise. We're flat out sprint punching. So it's a sprint with a punch. Drive for your shoulders. Are you ready? Here we go. All right, let's do this, come on. Flat out, do not pace it now. We're finishing the round off. Come on. Sideways looks like this. Knees up and I'm driving. Power, speed. Come on. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Let's go. Keep pushing. Come on. Let's work to the finish. Come on, nearly there. Come on, keep the punching up. Knees up. Oh, wow. Right, if you see the clock, we have a minute rest. And then we do them all again. This time for 35 seconds work and only 10 seconds rest. Oh, what an end to a round. Calories are burning, I love it. How'd you find the first round, guys? Oh, that was tough. Hmm. So remember, if you've got weights and you find it too hard, let go of them and do it without weights. You don't need weights if you don't want them. Oh, what have we got? 20 seconds left. Oh, I'm sweating. Right. Right, grab a quick drink, guys. We're going to go again. Frog jumps is going to be first. Mm. Are we ready? Five seconds left. In three. Are you ready? Two, one. Straight to frog jumps. Let's go. Come on. Second time and we're done. Oh. Come on. That was a quick minute. Woo. Oh. Of all the exercises now you should know. So let's just concentrate on form, technique. Remember it's not a race. Head and chest up, come on. Oh. Let's go. Come on, let's keep moving. Second round's always the toughest. That's one. Great stuff, right, 10 seconds rest. On the floor, reverse plank. Are we ready? Let's go, legs up, one, count for five, two, three, four, five, back up, one up, five down, two, three, four, five, come on, get, those, get the bum off the floor, if you can. If not, go as high as you can, slow on the way down. That's the important bit. Come on. Oh, wow. Keep it going. Oh, oh my days. Right, everybody up for your upright row. Do your weights. Remember, elbows high. Oh God, let's go. Slowing down. Good, and again. Let's go. Elbows up. Good. Squeeze in the top of your shoulders. Come on. Focus. Hold it. Two seconds. Back down. Squeeze. Elbows high. Oh, come on. Oh, great stuff, guys. Right. Gonna have my weights now. Keep holding your weights, guys. Squat to press. 
Going to be tough on the shoulders now, this one. Feet shoulder width apart. We squat, stand, press. You guys that haven't got weight, jump to the sky. Come on. So you guys that haven't, remember you can jump up. Oh. Come on. Ah. Oh. Still tough for threes, my God. Just tell them it worked out for a while. Ah. Oh. Come on. Head up, chest up, guys. Always look forward. Don't be looking at your toes. Be looking at me. Let's go. Come on. Oh, well done. Okay, on to the floor for your sit-ups. So with or without weight, it's up to you. Sit-ups, here we go. Let's go. If you haven't got a weight, cross your arms across your chest. Drive up, come on. Shoulder blades touch the floor. Bring them up, let's go. Have that weight across your chest. Let's go. Awesome, that again. Good. Back down. Back up. Let's go. Come on. Push through, let's go. Oh, okay. Into leg raises. Remember, just off the floor, 45 degrees, then 90. On my command. So, just off the floor. Hold it, just off the floor. Okay, up to 45. Up to 90. Hold it up there. Back down to 45. Come on, guys. Just off the floor. Point those toes, come on. Back up to 45. Oh, wow, that was tough. Okay, from there, into your bicep curls. Grab your weights for your biceps. Be quick. Remember, elbows tucked in. Squeeze at the top, slow on the way down. Remember, the lowering phase of a bicep curl is what breaks down the muscle tissues. Makes you stronger. Oh. Squeeze at the top, slow on the eccentric. Slow it down, come on. Let's go. Come on. All the way up, slow on the way down. Elbows tucked in, don't let your elbows move. Come on, we're rattling through these exercises now. Awesome, right. Exercise number eight. We're into those dips. Chair again. Come on. Are you ready? Legs out straight if you can. Let's go. All the way down. Lock out your elbows at the top. Squeeze those triceps. Come on. Down, up. Back down. Back up. Let's go. Back down. Back up. Down. Squeeze at the top. Let's go. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Last one. Oh. Right, okay. Into the lateral and your frontal raises. Woo. Remember for these arm circles, if not. Right, let's go. Lateral, oh, it's too heavy. Frontal, frontal, sorry. Lateral, into your frontal. Remember arm circles. 10 seconds on each. If you haven't got any weight, keep doing them circles. With your arms out straight, and then your arms to your side. Two second hold at the top. Let's go, come on. Concentrate on the breathing. Keep your chest up, core tight. Just let your arms move, that's it. Oh. Okay, back onto your mat, guys. Or your floor for oblique mountain climbers. Remember, knee, opposite elbow. Might do it off the mat actually. This way. Let's go, come on. Cross body. Concentrate for 35. Let's go. Don't stop. Come on, push hard. Remember, it's your workout. Make the most of it. Come on. Cross the body. Ah. Work 
those obliques. Come on. Oh, my days. Okay, back into your bent over rows. Grab those weights once more. Hips back, pelvis back. Back straight, remember, drive. Elbows back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Show this way on, okay? Slight bending knee. Head and chest up. Bend over, but look forward. Don't arch the top of your back. Keep that spine straight. Pinch those shoulder blades, slow and controlled. Time and attention, guys. Let's go, come on, and again. Squeeze. Down. And up, once more, come on. Right there. Push through. Oh, okay. Back on the floor, split press ups. Let's do this. So one hand in front, one hand behind. We'll take. Let's go. Remember, if you can't do a full press up, drop your knees. One hand in front, one behind. Split. Let's go. Great stuff. Keep pushing. Press ups aren't my thing either. But let's do it. Focus on your weakest area. Come on. That's one. Oh. Okay. Back onto your mat for your single leg for bridge kicks. Are we ready for these kicks? Ah. Right. Let's go. Kick up. Squeeze your butt, remember. Hips up. Come on. Get that leg slightly straighter if you can. Oh, put more emphasis on your glutes. Oh, come on. Oh, squeeze. Squeeze your glutes. Come on. Bum hits the mat. Back up. Pow. Bum hits the mat. Rest up. Back up. Add the power. And again. Oh. Oh. Okay, 10 seconds. We switch sides. Come on, guys. We're nearly there now. Let's go, other leg, slight bend, just a slight bend this time. Bomb on the floor, power it up, straight line, hold. Power it up, squeeze your glutes. Is that where your glutes are? They're in your bum. So squeeze your butt when you get your hips up. Come on, let's go. Squeeze, core tight, engage the core. And again. Oh, come on, nearly there. Oh. Come on, squeeze it, let's go. Squeeze at the top. Back down. Back up, squeeze. Oh. Okay, final exercise. Sprint punch. Let's go out on a high, guys. Come on, let's do this. Oh, here we go. Let's go, come on, finish it now, this is it. Come on, final exercise. Give it everything, empty the tank. Come on, come on, don't stop. Punch, 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 knees up. Get your knees up. Drive. Faster, go. Go, go, go. Come on. Oh. Wow, oh, wow. Ah. Woo. Oh. What a workout. Oh. Oh. Wow, guys. Oh, I think that's covered everything. Oh. Wow, my heart rate certainly got up then. Oh. Wow. That was a good, solid session. We all worked hard. We all should have worked through our um, exercise efforts or our RPE as I like to call it, should be averaging between six and nine. If it's a 10, you've worked really hard. Oh, gotta get my breath back now. How was that guys, how did you find it? Was it good? Is it challenging? I wanna know about your experiences, how you found it? 
Mm. Don't forget your photos. I'm not bothered how sweaty you look. It means you worked out. If you've managed to record a little bit of a video, stick that on here as well, because like I say, this group is to encourage and support everyone, because we're all on the same journey. And now we have the news yesterday that we're gonna be in lockdown until the end of February at the earliest. You know, we all need to not just concentrate on how we look, but more importantly now than ever, it's how we feel, okay? Both physically and mentally. So if your goal is to lose weight and tone up, let's add a little bit more emphasis on how we feel as well, okay? So it's more about doing these exercises the best you can. It's how you feel after you're finished. You know, you should have a little bit more positivity, a little bit more energy, because like I say, we feel like there's no end in sight and we're on Groundhog Day, but if you keep active and you keep fit, it will give you a bit more of a positive outlook and a positive energy to tackle, obviously, day-to-day -day lives. Um, obviously, now with homeschooling again, parents are gonna be more stressed than ever, so you need to do some sort of exercise just for that release, okay? So I'm here for you guys every step of the way, 24-7 um, if you need me. That's what I'm here for, all right? Okay, so everybody up, let's do this cool down. Quad stretch first, heel up to your bum. Really important that we stretch out. Okay, let's switch sides. Okay guys, if you can, Put them toes up against a chair or a sofa or a wall, heel on the floor, and stretch out those calves. So really push that weight forward. Good, switch sides. Okay, from there we're going to go into a lunge position. I want your back knee on the floor and we're gonna rock forward and back for 10. Now the reason we do rocking is because it uh, loosens up our glutes and our quads, hamstrings, hip flexors, just loosens everything up. So when we get to the last one, which will be uh, two or three times, we're gonna lean forward and stretch out as far as we can. Three, two, one, let's go. So keep in that lunge position, both hands on the floor, stretch as far forward as you can. Just that added stretch. Three, two, one. Okay, let's switch sides. So we do it for a 10 count. One, two, get rocking. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lean forward, touch the floor, stretch as far forward as you can. Three, two, one. Okay guys, it's really important that when you come up, you stand up nice and slowly. From here, we're going to do some arm circles, but nice and slowly. So, up and down. We're going to do three forwards. Slow, 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 guys. Two. Keep with me if you can. And three. And we'll reverse it. One. Slow and control, guys. Two, last one. Three, from there, both hands on top of your quads. We do forward roll or backwards roll. So we do five, backwards, three, four, five. Five forwards, really get those shoulders high. Two, three, four, five. We're gonna do three neck rolls one way. Take your time with these, really go wide with your neck. Two, last one and three, and come back the other way. One, all the way around. Two, last one, and three. Up and down as well, so look to the floor, look up, look to the floor, look up. One more, look to the floor, and look up. Awesome, got, got, got neck ache now. All right, from there, we do the triceps, hand down the middle of the spine, push down, top of the elbow. What's happened to the music? The music stop. Yeah, pause, continue watching. Why has that done that? Let's get some music on, guys. Right, switch sides. Let's get to the side. Hello, hello. 
But, uh... Sorry about that, we lost your music. Okay, from there, arms locked out above your head, lean over to one side. Okay, switch sides. From there, arms out in front, lean forward. Okay, arms behind, squeeze the shoulder blades together, so have your chest up. Finish off, arm across your chest, pull it in nice and tight. Good stuff, switch sides. Very quick, it's lucky we're not on. <laughs> uh. Great stuff, guys. That is it, your workout is done. Thank you for all the positive comments. Guys, you are epic, you are absolutely amazing. Um, please share your experiences with the group. That was your circuits for today. I really hope you enjoyed it. Again, let me know how you found it. Too easy, too hard, you know, because all the feedback um, is really important so I know how to move forward with the next workouts. Tomorrow, we are back once again with Hit Step. If your legs can take it, we're back tomorrow, 9.30 for Hit Step. Hopefully, I'll see you then. Um, anybody want any questions or anything they want to ask me, please do get in touch. I hope you guys are sticking to your January challenges, which is uh, 10,000 steps a day. For you guys who are on the six weeks transformation challenge, day one was absolutely fantastic. You all stuck within your calorie range and you're all doing a little bit of exercise. So if we can keep that up for the next six weeks and beyond, you're gonna do uh, some amazing things this year. Have a great day, have a day guys, and I'll see you all tomorrow at 9.30 for Hit Step. Love you all, thanks a lot.